Things keep getting more fucking crazy. Welcome to Daniel's Inferno. First time I've done two videos in a day, and I was actually getting ready for bed, and I checked my news feed, and I was just kind of finishing up with some things, and I noticed that there were two things trending, one of them being hashtag Baron, and the other one being Trump booed. So I thought I would do a bit of a video on the fact that people, a little ungrateful it seems, to me at least, uh, we should be celebrating the fact that the ISIS leader, that cowardice piece of shit, was killed, but instead we are furthering the divisions and booing the president for the first time he's gone to a baseball game. So, on my screen here, you are going to see people complaining about the fact that Barron was not brought to the baseball game. And I mean, it, as if they're attacking him for his parenting skills. As someone who had a bad parent, it's disgusting to me that you would unduly attack someone for their parenting skills where it's not due. Go after Trump for his policy, go after him for many, many things, but to go after his son shows that people that are tweeting about this, people talking about this, they have no morals, they have no values, they've given in, and they've given up. And well, we can see that Wait, did Trump really not bring Barron to the game or his grandchildren? Well, Bradley P. Moss, maybe, just maybe, the President of the United States has security concerns. So the more of his family he brings, the more taxpayer money needs to get spent on security personnel. I, that, no one thought of that, I guess. A father not taking his son to a baseball game, let alone a World Series, is perhaps the worst indictment of a family man I've ever heard. I have a feeling Trump could have gotten Barron a ticket if he got tickets for Scalies and Gates. Well, how old is Barron? Like, he's a teenager? Maybe he doesn't like baseball. Maybe he didn't want to go. But again, that didn't cross anyone's mind. Let's not actually ask a logical question. Let's not... Occam's razor, what is the most logical answer to this question? No, no, no. Let's jump the gun like these radical fucking leftists always do. You can see it with the Russia gate. You can see it now with this Ukraine nonsense. And you can see it with the fact that I think Trump has been the most dogged and most attacked president in history. Unduly, in my opinion, I'm not saying he's infallible, I'm not saying he's perfect, but my Christ, he's done a pretty good goddamn job. His approval ratings are at, what, above 50% for a lot of demographics? Um, he's just taken out the ISIS leader. He's done talks with North Korea. He's done... Bringing, he's done a great job bringing manufacturing back to the U.S. Um, last I checked, Obama didn't do that. But he's your fucking god for some reason. And yet Trump is the devil for trying to help Americans. Or for possibly not bringing his, dad or his son to a baseball game where his son maybe didn't want to go. Like... We didn't have any money growing up, but my dad still took me to every sporting event he could afford. Donald Trump has unlimited resources, yet he couldn't even take Barron with him to the baseball game. Well, Palmer report, I reiterate, maybe he didn't want to. Maybe he didn't want to go. Maybe security reasons. There are umpteen number of fucking things that could stop a person from bringing their son when they're in the position of the president to a baseball game. A stadium of what, 20, 30,000 people? More? Like, let's think logically here, instead of being fucking retarded. 
Washington crowd boos Trump at the World Series and chants lock him up. Uh, I have no problem with people giving their opinion. Uh, I guess you could argue that this is an act of civil disobedience in some sense. But where was this? Like, where? Oh, the Washington, it was hold, held in Washington. Okay, not very, that doesn't surprise me then that people are acting this way. I mean, wh why are we focusing on Trump so much? Why are we not focusing on things like the murder rate in Baltimore or Chicago? Or the fact that rats live in Baltimore? Or the fact that the abortion rates are through the roof? Or fatherlessness in the black community? Well, why aren't we talking about the fact that Trump just did some pretty good things, killing the ISIS leader, getting Turkey to calm down their offensive in Syria. Granted, you could argue pulling the troops out caused it, but he's still, he's doing a pretty good job. He's not the devil, and this continued treatment of him like he's some sort of evil person, I don't, I don't understand it. Here in Canada, we have Justin Trudeau, the guy who doesn't know how many times he wore blackface, the guy who was head and center of the SNC Lavalin scandal, which is actually a reason to get rid of a president or prime minister in our case. And yet, he just won a minority this this past week. Why don't you guys count your blessings that you don't have some fucking idiot like Trudeau in charge, ruining everything. Why don't you be happy that you have someone who cares about the country he runs, trying to make it number one, and again, doing a fairly a fairly good job of it, comparatively to, to past presidents. I just, why don't we focus on Baltimore? Why don't we focus on Chicago? Why don't we focus on these crime disgusting cities? Why don't we focus on Gavin Newsom's fucking California? Let's let's focus on where it needs to be. And instead of what our emotions are telling us to do. Because let me tell you something. Facts don't care about your feelings. Ben Shapiro said that. And he's fucking correct. Facts don't care about your feelings. Your feelings can get the fuck out of this discussion, actually. It has nothing to do with it at all. Thank you all for watching. I'm Daniel's Inferno.